Okay, welcome again. This video is going to talk about the magnetic fields created by current passing through a wire. So if you have current passing through a wire like this, the idea is that you put your thumb in the direction of this arrow and you wrap your fingers around the wire. So up top, the fingers are going to be coming out. And the point where the fingers come out, you draw a dot as if there's an arrow coming out towards you. And then the point on the other side of the wire is where you draw the X which represents your fingers going into the board. So the magnetic field um, is represented by uh, circles that come out of the board here, go into the board here, and then back out again. It's hard to draw it in three dimensions, but let this be your guide. It comes out there, in here, out, in, etc. throughout the wire. So basically, the wire is the center of uh, sets of cylinders of magnetic field lines that are coming out from the top and coming in down here. And of course as you get further away the strength of the magnetic field gets weaker so I draw fewer field lines that are further out. Okay? And the strength of the magnetic field lines or sorry, excuse me, the strength of the magnetic field is a function of distance away from the wire as given by the equation I gave you in class where B is equal to um, uh, mu zero over two pi r. For a wire where r is the distance from the wire, I'm sorry, mu zero i. So the bigger the current, the bigger the magnetic field. The further you are away from the wire, the weaker the magnetic field, with the direction given as I showed above here. Now, if you wanted to create a uniform magnetic field, uh, the way you did that, as we saw in lab and as we talked about, is uh, you create a bunch of coils of wire. Time to draw that here. So this is like the slinky situation that you saw in lab. This is a solenoid. And how does this work? Well, if you wrap your fingers around the wire at any point here, you'll see that on one side of the wire, so let's say my let's say the current's passing in this direction. What's the direction of the magnetic field? Well, on this side of the wire, the magnetic field is coming out towards you, and this it's, it would be a dot, and then on this side of the wire it would be coming in. Let me erase those. So on this side it would be a dot, and this side it would be coming in. This side would be a dot, this side would be coming in. So everywhere outside the wire it's it's coming in and everywhere on the inside of the wire um, it's reinforcing coming out the way I drew it here and as it turns out the magnetic fields inside the wire all add up they reinforce one another whereas outside the wire um, they're gonna cancel each other out basically so the electric field outside the wire is basically zero so essentially it's hard to draw it on the board you have to think about it but the magnetic field outside the wire is basically zero. So if you play with these thoughts, you'll, you'll get to see that. Um, but inside the wire, it reinforces. Whoops. And this is what you also saw in lab. So the strength of the magnetic field is given by B is equal to mu zero times um, capital N divided by the length times I, where I is the current. N is the number of loops and L is the length of wire, or sorry, the length of the coils is represented by that arrow I drew on top there. Alright, so if you want to create a uniform magnetic field, this is the way to go. So I'll just show you on one more slide what a uniform magnetic field looks like conceptually. A uniform magnetic field would look something like this, kind of like a uniform electric field doesn't vary in strength with position. It's always the same value. And what does it mean to have a magnetic field, whether it's uniform or not? It means that if you put a compass here, the, the, the arrow of the compass would line up with the direction of the arrow of the magnetic field. But it says nothing about the motion or the force that a charge would experience if placed there. So if you put a compass anywhere in this, uh, on this figure here, 
the, the uh, arrow of the compass would line up with the direction of the magnetic field, as you can see here. Okay, that's enough for this video. The next video I show you will talk about the effect of a magnetic field on a charge. How does a magnetic field affect the motion of a charge? Okay.